Congrats to all the big Oscar winners on Sunday night, including those gorgeous gowns on the red carpet. One of our faves was Amanda Seyfried's dazzling halter-styled Steve McQueen gown in a pale pink and covered in sparkle. Amanda's dress was certainly in keeping with the trend of the evening, which appeared to be lighter shades. Also worn by Jennifer Lawrence, Jessica Chastain, Anne Hathaway, and Charlize Theron, just to name a few. Amanda and her castmates of La Miserable also performed a musical number during the award show with her fellow cast mate Anne Hathaway taking home an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Lindsay Lohan's lawsuit against Pitbull has reportedly been thrown out. Lindsay's lawsuit against the rapper began in 2011 when Pitbull used Lindsay's name in the song Give Me Everything, in which he says, quote, I've got it locked up like Lindsay Lohan, unquote. Lindsay claims that Pitbull never asked her permission to use her name, and the song caused her emotional distress. But a New York federal judge wouldn't hear it. He said the song is a work of art and therefore protected by the First Amendment. He also added that Lilo's name was only mentioned once. Once, so the lawsuit had no substance. The case has been dismissed. Ron Jeremy is finally out of the hospital, and he says he's ready to get back to doing what he does best, and you know what that is. Some of you may remember that Ron suffered an aneurysm near his heart last month and required multiple emergency surgeries to save his life. And the fact that he's back on his feet and ready to rock is nothing short of an X-rated miracle, right? Ron says he's been feeling great but can't wait to get back to work, and according to Ron, the nurses told him that if he can walk up two flights of stairs, he's ready for a woman. The notorious porn star says he not only walked up two flights, but three additional flights. It looks like Clint Eastwood is another victim of what's being called swatting. TMZ reported that multiple law enforcement units rushed to Clint's house after a bogus 911 call, only to find that nothing was actually wrong. The police aren't sure where these calls are coming from, but Clint is not the first celebrity to be involved in these phony 911 calls. Ashton Kutcher, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, Simon Cowell, Tom Cruise, Chris Brown, and the Kardashians have all been victims of swatting. LAPD assures that they are actively searching for the perpetrator, and that the suspect will be caught and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. One 12-year-old has already been charged in connection with some of the calls, but the calls have continued nonetheless. Rihanna was almost the victim of a home invasion, but the invader got the wrong house. The man arrested outside of Rihanna's home actually broke into the house next door, thinking it was Rihanna's. He was caught after he realized his mistake and left the first house searching for Rihanna's. According to police, the suspect is claiming that he was emailed instructions to Rihanna's home, so he hopped in his car and drove over. Police were called by neighbors who saw the man sneaking around and thought he just didn't look right. The cops quickly came and arrested him. He's now currently being held on burglary charges. No word yet on exactly who emailed him the directions or exactly who this guy is. Talk about making a point. Some new information has surfaced on the Josh Brolin-Diane Lane divorce. Evidently, Diane's the one who called it quits, serving Josh with divorce papers on February 15th. That's right, the day after Valentine's. In fact, we're told she actually signed the documents on Valentine's Day. The couple have been separated for a while, and according to the divorce papers, Diane cited irreconcilable differences. There's a lot of speculation that Josh's legal record played a big part in her decision. Just four months after their marriage, Josh was arrested arrested for spousal battery, but the charges were later dropped. He was also arrested for fighting in a bar in Louisiana in 2008 while intoxicated, and he was arrested in Santa Monica on New Year's Day for public intoxication. If marriage supposedly calms a guy down, we're a little nervous for Josh as a single guy. Yikes. That's it for now. I'm Jennifer Reed. Keep your eye on celebrity.